The Lord will come and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree, and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. <clears throat> Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall bring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps.
raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. In order to prove he is who he says he is, in order to show even John, his precursor, to prove to him that he is, comes from God, that he is God, Jesus points to the actions and the healings and the goodness, the goodness that he gives out. It is a constant reminder that the scriptures always are reminding us that the call of the Christian, the witness, and the proof of our Christianity, of the fact that we truly believe in Christ, is in how we express it. It does not mean that we save ourselves by the good acts that we do, but we prove that we truly love the Lord, believe in Him, and desire to follow Him by the actions, by the good that we do, by the way that we cooperate with His will, by the way that we do acts of charity by the way that we give comfort, solace, empathy, and truly aid those, bring Christ to those who are most vulnerable and who are suffering. That is the witness, the proof of the love that we have. Not that it saves us, but that it shows the world that we believe what we say that we believe what we, what we profess in the prayers that we make. It's through these actions, through those acts of charity especially, that we show, even to those who are Christian, that we believe in the Christ who came. Taking comfort in God's boundless love for each of us, let us bring our concerns to him. For the leaders of nations, that they may work towards true peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. That the freedom that comes through the sacraments of the church may give relief to those who are oppressed by sin, we pray to the Lord. That all those who died baptized, <coughs> baptized in Christ may rise again in new life with him for eternity. We pray to the Lord. In silence, let us offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Gracious God, you lead us beside restful waters and refresh our souls. We pray that you bring us to your holy mountains as we look to you to heal and feed us. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Shelton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To those joining on social media, I invite you to pray with me an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, it is known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen.